although Canada has severe diplomatic ties with Iran, there seems to be a strong influence of the Iranian regime in Shia mosques in the GTA. Recently, there have been gatherings to commemorate and give blessings to none other than Iranian arch-terrorist Qasem Soleimani. In these sermons, he's lauded as a martyr and his death is called a war crime. The Iranian regime influence is, has also led to anti-Semitic incidents. On May 16, a man by the name of Firas al-Najim used a loudspeaker to give a call to prayer outside the Jaffrey Islamic Center in Thornhill, Ontario. I've already expressed my opinion about having public calls to prayer during the COVID-19 pandemic. But in this case, what was appalling was that al-Najim used this opportunity to call upon Muslims to boycott and refrain from doing any business transactions with what he called the illegitimate Zionist regime. Against the illegitimate Zionist regime, he calls for the liberation of, of the Holy Palestine. And he also calls for boycotting all the Zionist uh, business. He says that it's illegal and it's forbidden for any Muslim, especially the followers that follow him, to do any, do any business, business transactions, transactions with, with, with any Zionist 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 Zionist. Firas al-Najim is the co-manager of an organization called Canadian Defenders for Human Rights and is seen in a Twitter post promoting a walk against Israel. Following this fracas, Thornhill NPP Gila Marto issued a press release noting her disappointment at the Jaffrey Center. The next day, Vice President of the Islamic Shia Ithna Ashari Jamaat of Toronto issued a press release in which he claimed that the person giving the azan, Firas al-Najim, is not associated with the ISIJ, and he further expressed concern about Gila Marto's statement. The Vice President claimed that he does not know this individual, although last year he co-signed a letter by al-Najim to the Prime Minister. At the same time, who jumps into the fray but the National Council of Canadian Muslims, previously CARE Canada. You will recall that CARE USA are unindicted co-conspirators in the Holy Land terrorism trial in Dallas. In a press release, they demanded an apology from NPP Gila Marto. Not surprisingly, on May 19th, a joint statement was issued by NCCM ISIJ and Gila Marto, in which they say they had a meaningful dialogue. The statement further said, MPP Marto commits to contacting representatives of the organizations directly should any further unfortunate incidents occur and apologizes for any hurt she caused to the community of the Jaffrey Community Center. If the politicians of today can be cowed down by bullies, we have a long struggle ahead of us. This is Rahil Raza for Rebel News. Don't forget to like and watch www.rebelnews.com.